Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're here for round four with Amulet Titan. We already played the first three rounds. They'll appear earlier in the playlist if you want to see those. And uh, I also did more of an in-depth deck tech in part one. So I'm not going to go over the main deck and the sideboard here. If you are interested in that content, you'll just have to look at the first video uh, for the sake of time. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into match here. As of right now, we are 3-0, and so uh, playing for that 4-0, hopefully. I've never personally actually gotten a trophy, so I'm not trying to jinx myself on camera here, but it would be pretty nice if my first trophy was actually on video. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Generally, I think it's pretty typical to 3-2 or 4-1 and with Amulet, at least in my uh, personal experience, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but it would be nice to get another match win regardless, so. Hopefully we can secure that. But until then, we'll just have to play our games and make the best plays. So that's the plan. While we're waiting, I just want to remind you, if you, at the end of the video, like what you saw, thought it was useful, go ahead and leave a like and a subscribe. And you'll see whatever other content I decide to put out. All right, that wasn't too long. I reveal Luris. Okay, so we already played against Luris Jun, so I'm hoping this is Luris Prowess. The last match against Lurus Drun was closer than I would generally prefer. Um, either way, I think this hand is fine against Lurus. We're missing a second green source to cast Titan, and we actually need two green sources to activate Garen Brig. Um, but if our Dryad survives, we'll be able to get there, at least with the Garen Brig, pretty easily. Um, if we draw an untapped source, we have a Grazer on one to help us ramp out to Dryad on turn two. So I think it's fine. Moment of truth. What what land are they playing? What deck are they playing? Personally, I prefer playing against the red white prowess version just because the matchups generally feel more tense. There's more moments of like, well, first of all, they're fast, and second of all, there are moments where you could be dead. There are moments where your opponent can't do anything. Overall, it's just more interesting, and so it is. It does look like we're playing against red white here. So that's interesting news. I have to admit, just by the law of large numbers, I would have been surprised to play against another John Luris opponent, since I feel like the red-white Luris decks are a little more popular, so. Although, if you consider the two events as independent, I suppose there is no way that previous matches would have a bearing on what this match was going to be, but... On average, we should probably not face more than one John Luris opponent per, per five matches. So, I don't know. That might be total bunk, though. Well, I'm glad to see this bobble in the graveyard because it's gone. The question is, I think, I think the play is to play the Grazer and put in a Growth Chamber since we just drew it. That gives us another green source. And then we'll pick up the Garen Brig and we'll play our Bajuka Bog after. Although maybe it would have been better to play the Bog first and pick up the Bog here, but the Garen Brig represents an untapped source once we actually have this Dryad in play, so I think this might be better. If we draw another untapped source here, then we'll actually have... Oh, uh, actually, no, we have... No, we don't have uh, the Titan next turn because we would need the Dryad already in play, so... Yeah, it might have been better to pick up the bog there. We'll see. Not doing anything this turn, so might as well just yield and see what they have. We also do have that mainboard explosives. Uh, since they aren't playing any one-drop creatures at the moment, it will probably not be relevant this game, at least not as of yet. But it is something we have access to with this TUS if we need it.
I light up the stage. Main board path. I'm always glad to see path get exiled when there's not really a good target for it. Do we go ahead and throw this grazer under the bus? I think five damage is enough. I'm not going to get greedy with my with my damage absorption here. Explore's an interesting one. We play Dryad. So we play Stronghold, Dryad, Garenbrae, and then we get an Explorer also. I think I'm into it. Uh, we'll play... Yeah, we want Stronghold out for the the case that we go for a Titan sooner rather than later. Which, with the Summoner's Pact, is looking like it might be reasonable to expect. And then we'll go ahead and explore. Hmm. I don't think it really matters. I'm just going to get the Sun home out. Yeah, we have a Titan next turn. And we can get zombies with our field, so... Looking pretty hot here. Although, maybe playing this Dryad in the path wasn't the greatest idea, but... I mean, if we get a land out of it, and they spin one of their manas... Or one of their uh, open lands to path instead, it's only translating into one point of damage to us, so... That's probably fine, I think. I think this Titan's most likely to get... Unless they put something important in the graveyard for uh, Lurus purposes, we're most likely to get just a Radiant Fountain and Feel of the Dead. So... Oh, well, there's a bobble. That is relevant for Lurus purposes, but I don't know if it's worth not gaining two more life here. Although, you're at a really healthy... I mean, we're about to take seven. I was going to say we're at a really healthy life total. But no, I think it's just going to be Radiant Fountain and Field. We're taking a pretty big chunk of damage here. Or we're just dead, because... They have the Lava Dart in the yard. Well, that was an explosive turn. I feel like if one of those Lava Darts had been something else, that we would have won this game pretty handily. As it is, we're just dead. <laughs> Doesn't happen often. All right, well, you want Explosives and Bayloths, obviously. Uh, force, probably not. Tracker, blocks, but it dies to a lot of stuff, including a Lava Dart if we don't. Uh, have a land and uh, have a land to play and also a clue to crack immediately so i don't love tracker i do like this member because hitting one prowess creature if they're on a low draw can be important otherwise hitting luris can be important as well and i think that's it to be honest i don't really think rex age is necessary they're not typically the type to be packing say damping sphere in the board so i'm gonna go without the rex age we'll board out a pact just because we don't want to be tapping out on the turn after we play it. Um, we'll definitely board down on Stirrings and probably Explorers too. This matchup's a little too fast for Explorer. Um, we have one more slot to, to bring something back in. Could just be a Stirrings. Could be a Sage or a Tracker. I don't hate Tracker, but I don't love it either. I think instead of a Tracker, I'd rather just have the other summoners pack just so we can get this game over with as soon as we draw one and we both want to be able to pack for a dryad or for a titan so the more packs the merrier i think if we have a hand that has dryad plus pack then that represents dryad plus titan and if we have a hand that has titan plus pack then it represents a dryad or an azusa to power out a bunch of lands fast so it's a little risky it could just be a second i mean a third uh ancient stirrings instead of the fourth pack but i don't really care I'm just going to submit it this way. And we will play first. Unfortunately, not winning game one means we'll be on the draw for game three if we get to a game three. And that's definitely not something that we're interested in. It severely hampers our ability to win this match, sadly. Hmm. Nah. This hand just doesn't have enough. And they could just smash the smithereens or amulet. So. Interesting. Yeah, this hand's... This hand's serviceable, I suppose. 
Uh, what are we bottoming? I think it's going to be one of the... I mean, the second Garenbrig gives us access to a green source to activate one of the two of them, at least. But that would require us to bottom the Ghost Quarter, and that's our only untapped source here. I don't love it. I think we do want a Bounce Land as well, since we have the Azusa. <sighs> I hate to do it, but I think it's just Garenbrig. And now the question is, do we lead on a Ghost Quarter to hold up Dismember? I don't think that's necessary. If we're taking any damage this upcoming turn at all, it's going to be one from a Swift Spear or two from like a Goblin Guide or something if they're playing that. So I'm not worried about that small amount of damage. I'd rather just get the Garen Brig out. So we could play Explosives on one and then Sanctuary back the Garenbrig, and then they wouldn't know that we have an Azusa next turn, or we could just blow the Explosives next turn. Yeah. I guess that's the best play. And then we'll have a Dismember follow-up for the Luris, so... That's the plan, I suppose. Alright. I'm about to go get the light, because the light turned off on me. It's automatic, so I'm going to go get that while they finish their turn real quick. I'll be right back. Hopefully I'm still in frame. I'll just go check real quick. I guess it doesn't hurt anything. All right, cool. So they went through a couple of anamorphoses here. Wisely not playing into our explosives. If we draw, like, a forest or a breeding pool here, then we actually can both Azusa and blow explosives. Or Amulet's a pretty good one, too. Although, Amulet would get blown up from the engineered explosives if we blow it. Hmm. And they have another they have another land lined up for next turn to play Luris. Oh, wait, no, they can't play Luris because they would need another white. And even if they played Luris, unless they have a bobble, they can't get value from it. So I'm not really worried about that. Hmm. So I could float to play Amulet, play Sanctuary, and pick up a Sanctuary. That would be three mana. Play Azusa and play two more lands and then... Or play Sanctuary and something else and then... Blow up Explosives and kill our Amulet and the Soulscar Mage. But I think that's fine. I don't think Amulet is particularly important in this matchup. It really best serves to get to the Titan, but if we already have Titan mana lined up, that's probably fine. Because if we, say, Ghost Quarter and just play Azusa, then we'd be forced into playing... Well, we could Ghost Quarter Azusa now because one of our lands would have to be the sanctuary so we don't have enough land drops to play azusa and blow explosives without playing the amulet so i think i need to do both this turn so i'm gonna lead on the amulet here this also lets us get full value out of azusa while we can since otherwise they could hold up like a bolt or something and then I think it's going to be Garenbrig, uh, Garenbrig Sanctuary, leaving both Sanctuaries in play. Nah, I mean, it doesn't really make a huge difference here. So I'd rather just get more differently named lands into play, I suppose. And this, this way we can hold up our Explosives activation until they're in step. If we want to, we can even just chump block with the Azusa and untap with our Explosives. That way we have the ability to play Titan if we draw it. We'll just see what they do. Abbott, uh, not really 
concerned about that at the moment. Although we really need to spike a Titan off the top here soon, or we're going to be in bad shape. I bail off, but also line up decently against their Abbot. It would undo some of the damage we've already taken and present some sort of roadblock for them. Although with multiple Lava Darts, clearly they can get their, or well, they will most likely be able to get their Abbot to a toughness that allows it to attack through a Bayloth or something, but we'll see. <clears throat> All right, so we lose the Azusa. They, did they sacrifice a land to do that? I didn't, I, was, I wasn't paying attention. So we could blow the explosives to save three life. But then we have no possible way of playing a Titan next turn. I think three life is not enough for me to want to blow this explosives yet, to be honest. So, so I'm just going to wait on it. Worst case scenario, we just hold up explosives for next turn. And if we draw a Titan here, we get severely rewarded. That's a Bailoff. That's fine. Um, we'll play out our Sanctuary. Might as well. This way, we can safely blow up our Amulet and not be worried about it. And we'll pick up the Ghost Quarter so we have an untapped source for the upcoming turn, if we need it. Here's a Bailoff. And that just completely undid the uh, damage we just took from the Soul Scar Mage, or the Soul Scar Mage, and potentially threatens to block and trade with this Abbot while we can sell explosives to kill the Soul Scar. So, looking pretty good here. I still think it would have been better to top deck a Titan, but we can always do that next turn since we always just top deck what I whatever I say on camera. Apparently, you see, this never happens to me when I play a game off camera. I've seen it happen several times on F. Paulus' stream, because he's a pretty big amulet streamer. Um, he does YouTube videos as well, but mainly he streams on Twitch. Um, and a lot of times he'll say something, and then he'll just draw it right off the top, as if it was always there in the first place. And that never happened to me off camera, but since I've started making videos, I've had so many more called shots, it's insane. Um, I think we want to blow the explosives here before our Bailoff gets any minus counters on it, because we want to trade with this Abbot, so. I mean, they're just going to seal a fire it, but at least this way they have to use it. We already have Titan mana lined up, so let's just top deck a Titan. That's the master plan here. There's a second Soul Scar. Titan. That is not a Titan. But it is a blocker, so I'll take it. Alright. I'm not going to fire off this dismember on pretty much anything other than a Luris here, so... Hopefully they don't draw a land, so they can't get back their Soul Scar Mage with this Luris. Because I think they're basically forced to play Luris this turn, even if they draw something different. I suppose if they draw, like, a light up the stage or something, then they may not play. We're going to block, though. One that does more damage. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, I suppose if they had a light up the stage or something, then that, make me, eh, that might make more sense to play than the Luris. But this just seems like the opportune time to play it. When else are they going to have three mana up and... You know what I mean? Yep, and here, yep, it's a Luris, okay. Do we dismember the Luris now? If we top deck a Titan, then we can just exile his yard with a bog. So, I'm going to wait on the dismember. This also plays favorably if we draw a Dryad, because we don't have to pay as much life. Hmm. Okay, well, now we're just going to dismember this guy. We could ghost quarter uh, one of his 
uh, canopy lands here. Hmm, but that's going to put us further away from field. I kind of think we have to, though. I really don't like it, but... Like, we just need to present, uh, prevent this game from being shortened on us. Not attacking with Grazer. That's for sure. Get this guy out of here. Oh, so Bolt and Grazer, probably? Yep. Well, we're in a little bit of trouble here. I'm not sure if a top deck Titan really gets us out of it, to be honest, because we won't have that many blockers. Or we might just be dead. Seven, eight from the Lava Dart. The seven, oh, hold on. So there's seven on the board. Yeah, we're just dead. Or did he flash that Lava Dart back? Ah, no. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Oh, well. We'll uh, let this proceed here, and maybe we can see if we would have top deck the Titan. Uh, nope, just another grazer. Yeah, we were we were pretty deep in the hole there. Oh well, well, we're now three and one. That's still not too bad. I don't I don't complain about getting getting my league money back. Uh, we still have a shot at four one as well. So, anyways. I hope you still enjoyed the match. Maybe learn something out of it. Although, we kind of just lost, sadly. I'm not sure there's a whole lot to be gleaned from all of that. But, anyways, uh, leave a like, subscribe. And I will be back somewhat shortly for match five.